this morning we are checking in with a musician known literally all over the world for some of the people that he has played with and he's got some special connections to Rochester as well. We are talking to Tony Levin, Eastman School graduate and Rochester Music Hall of Fame inductee. Tony and King Crimson are at CMAC tonight. Tony, good morning. Welcome back to Western New York. We've missed you. <laughs> I've missed Rochester. <laughs> great to be back. I love coming here and it's great to be here with King Crimson. Yeah, so some people may not know King Crimson, so we'll get into that in the performance at CMAC tonight. But man, Tony, I'm looking at your bio and you've played <laughs> with uh, someone you may have heard of, John Lennon, name sounds vaguely familiar, <laughs> Pink Floyd, Lou Reed, Alice Cooper, huge fan here, Carly Simon. I mean, the, the list goes on and on. James Taylor. That is incredible. I got to ask, because this is just personal, who, who was your favorite to play with? <laughs> Can you pick? I'm not a guy who has favorites. I've been really lucky to play with all of those people you mentioned and, and quite a few more who were less famous, which is okay. Yeah. Well, like most musicians, I'm in it for the music. Mm -hmm. Get to play with a great artist and with great musicians also. Uh, it's a great opportunity and I had very good training at, at the Eastman School for, for music and for trying to be a professional and do things well, yeah. not particularly for rock or progressive rock, but uh, there wasn't a lot of that going on at Eastman in those days. And uh, I still love visiting. Actually, yesterday I had the, the day off here in Rochester and went by the main hall of, of Eastman and hung, hung out and sat in the chair in the main hall. I used to sit in the, for my four years at school. It was great. Has it changed a lot since you were at school there? Or what's it like being back? Well, the hall hasn't changed one iota. It's exactly the same in the look on the students' faces as they rush through with trumpets and violins, trying to find an empty practice room looked exactly the same. And I love that. It warmed my heart. Yeah, you're from Boston originally. Where do you live now, Tony? I live in uh, what we call upstate New York. Kingston, New York is 100 okay. miles north of New York City. Yeah. I don't. I shouldn't call it upstate. Well, now that I am really upstate. Yeah. But uh, commuting distance to New York City. I, yeah. I moved there to, to to live in Woodstock, nearby town mm -hmm. that has a lot of uh, musicians and great history. Yeah. And uh, Kingston is the city that's next to Woodstock. Yeah, Woodstock. You may have also heard of before. Uh, so you haven't been here since you were inducted into the the Hall of Fame. So were you excited to come back and and tell us about playing with King Crimson? Yes. So uh, always great to come back here. I have friends here uh, who are. For so long, it's like family. It's great, great to be here. It was, uh, uh, of course, an incredible honor being uh, inducted into the Hall of Fame. And that was a whole week here. Usually on the road, you only have a day or a day and a half in the city if yeah. you're lucky. Uh, it's always great being here. And to be here with King, well, there I am. Uh, to be here with King Crimson is, is really special. King Crimson is what I would call a progressive band and that we don't play rock the way a lot of other bands do. And, and in many, many ways, fans of ours know, of course, the music that we play. But people who don't, it's a, it's a, if you want to see a rock band that plays in very unusual ways, for instance, we have three drummers, and for instance, we, uh, we wear suits and ties and we walk onto the stage as if it's a, uh, an orchestra concert, but it isn't, it's, a, it's pretty heavy rock. And uh, we, we interpret our music in, uh, in different ways each year. We don't play it the same every year. But in the real meaning of, of progressive, we try to keep moving with our music and uh, individually with our playing. Very cool. Quite a different outfit than you probably wore playing with, um, I don't know, Alice Cooper, perhaps. Uh, Tony, how uh, do you... A little bit different. A little different. How do you decide who you're going to play with? How does that process work? Mm -hmm. I think like any freelance player, I'm very happy if I get called for work at all. <laughs> in, a, in a good year, everything works out. The, the tours lead one to another. I've toured a lot, especially with Peter Gabriel and King Crimson. Mm -hmm. In a good year, they, they lay out next to each other in a unfortunate year either there's not enough work that happens to everybody who's freelance or uh, things conflict that i have to choose one of the over the other and and of course i love if it's good music i want to do it all yeah by the way to what you spoke to before alice cooper i'm i'm guessing because uh, the orchestra the school orchestra played under stravinsky once when I, while i was here back in the 60s i'm probably one of the only guys who's played with both igor stravinsky and alice cooper that is uh, quite a range, Tony. I mean, I'm honored just to meet you digitally, and I can't wait to see you in person soon. I have to go Thank to bed you. early tonight, kind. or I'd be at CMAC. Best of luck with the performance tonight. Not that you need the luck, and thanks so much for being here with us this morning. Thank you, and, and I look forward to the concert and seeing some of the Rochesterians there. Thanks. I love it. I love it.